Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Today I'm going to show you how to have a shared folder with files in it between the guest and the host when using Vert Manager. So let's get to it. So today I'm running Arch Linux with the awesome window manager and I'm going to open up Vert Manager. So I'm just going to right click here and go to Vert Manager and of course I have all these set to open up with keystrokes but then if I'm doing keystrokes you can't see what I'm doing so I'm using my mouse because with awesome window manager you can use your mouse or the keyboard anyways that's sidetrack so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a virtual machine of Linux Mint so I have a virtual machine of Linux Mint Debian already made and but what I didn't do is I didn't attach a shared folder to it so this is something you can do when you're making the virtual machine or it's something you can do after the fact. So if you forgot to do it or if you have a virtual machine that's already made, you can go back and add a shared folder to it. You don't have to remake your virtual machine. So before I do that, now, like I said, this virtual machine is already made. It's something I made quite a while ago of Linux Mint Debian. But what you want to do is you want to go into the host machine and open up a terminal. So I'm going to open up a terminal and of course you can do this in your file manager as well. PCMan FM, Nemo or any other file manager that you may have. And you want to make a folder that's going to be shared. I'm going to make a folder called share for video. Okay and I'm doing that wrong. It's MKDIR. So I'm making a shoulder, sorry, so I'm making a folder called share for video and it's created. And now what I want to do is I want to make, give that folder a uh, full permission. So I'm going to type in sudo jamad777 share for video. Asking for my password, so I'm going to type my password in. Now, what I want to do is close the terminal. So I want to go back to my uh, Vert Manager. And I'm going to open up Linux Mint Debian 5, which is already made. I'm going to open it up. Now, before I actually start the virtual machine, and let's just make this full page. Well, I can't do that yet. So before I actually start the virtual machine, I'm going to click on this little blue icon here. Where it says Show Virtual Hardware Details. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to click on add hardware. Now, like I said, you can do this before you make the virtual machine or you can do this after the fact. You don't have to remake your virtual machine. So I'm going to click on hardware, add hardware. And I'm going to go up here to file system. I'm going to click it on. And I'm going to change this menu. I'm going to hit this pull down menu and I'm going to bring it down to Virtio 9P. I'm going to click it on. Virtual 9 9P. Now I'm going to browse. I'm going to hit the browse button. I'm going to hit browse local, my home folder. And I'm going to click on this one share for video. I'm going to open it up. And then I'm going to click on this field. I'm going to type in forward slash share point and I'm going to finish it. Then I'm going to go back to this window and I'm going to start my virtual machine of Linux Mint Debian. So we're just going to boot into it. It's just going to take a moment or two. I'm going to put my password in. So now I'm logged into my virtual machine of Linux Mint Debian. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the terminal and I'm just going to make this a little larger. I'm in the terminal and I'm going to make a folder with the same name as the other folder on my host machine. So I'm going to call it MKDIR. Make dear, dear for video. 
And I'm also going to make this folder full permission. So I'm going to do sudo jmod777 share for video. It's asking me for my password. There, this time it worked. I guess I typed the password wrong the first time. I think I could remember a two-digit password. So we're on my uh, host machine. I go into Xterm, and you can go into the file manager, PC Man FM, Nemo, or whatever file manager you happen to be using. I like to use the terminal. We're going to CD into um, share, share for video. Oops. And there's nothing in there. So we're going to make a file. And I'm just going to use a BIM. And I'm going to call the file from host text. I'm going to type in this is a test from host. I'm going to right click it. Oops, my caps are on. I'm going to save it. So let's just make sure it's there. And there's my file. So I'm going to close this down. And I'm going to go back to my virtual machine. So if we go into the file manager, you can see I have a folder here called share for video. Let's open it up. There's nothing in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the terminal and we're going to type in this command. Now the command has to be typed in exactly this way or it won't work. And you're going to have to retype this command in every time you power down and power back into your virtual machine. So you probably want to make an alias in your bash shell or your zesh shell or your fish shell, whatever shell you happen to be using. In my zesh shell, I made an alias called VM share. All I have to do is type in VM share and it connects. So you probably want to do that. That way you don't have to remember this particular command and you don't have to type it in every time you log into your virtual machine. So anyways, we're just going to hit enter. It's going to ask for my password. And now I'm going to go back to my file manager and you can do this in the terminal or in the file manager. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to click on shared for video folder. And there's the file and it's showing. I open it up. This is a test from host. Now we can go into uh, the terminal, also CD into it. Let's cat it. This is a test from host. Now, let's make a file. Let's see if we can go the other way. So, I'm going to make a file in my home directory of the virtual machine. Create a new empty document. I'm going to call it from guest text. And I'm going to type in it. This is a test from guest. Now I could have done this in a terminal as well. When I was on my host machine, I did it in the terminal and you can do this in the terminal or in here. It doesn't matter. Terminal or GUI, it's all the same thing. So test, this is the test from guest and I'm going to save it. Now it's saved. Now I'm going to copy it into my shared folder. I'm going to paste it in. Let's just make sure it's working. And it is. So now I'm going to go to my host machine. And I'm just going to go into the terminal here. 
Now CD into share for video. And that's it. And now we see we have two files in there. So let's see if we can view the, the from guest. So I'm going to cat it from guest. And permission denied. Now this is the tricky part. It works easily going from the host to the guest, but when you're going from the guest to the host, uh, you have to use sudo or you have to shamod it to be full permission. So it's a little bit tricky, but it's not too hard. So let's see if we can just sudo it and cat it. Sudo, and of course, you know, when you want to do the last command, you don't have to retype out the whole last command. You could type in sudo and two explanation marks. Asking for my password. Put my password in, and there it is. This is a test from guest. Now, what you could do is if you don't want to do that all the time, you, I could change the permissions and I could do sudo jamad777 from guest like that. Let's just clear the screen. And let's see if I can cat it. Cat from G. And there it is. This is a test from guest. So now everything is set up. All you have to remember is that the next time you log into your virtual machine, you have to run that command. And like I said, you should have an alias for that command in your shell configuration file. So in this video, I showed you how to make a shared folder between the guest and the host when using Virt Manager. And how you can do it after the fact. You can do it when you're making your virtual machine or you can do it after the fact. You don't have to redo making your virtual machine. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I am the Lennox Mensch. Thank you for watching.